I'm working with my palette knives today. Keep watching. Hi everybody, welcome. Thanks so much for joining me. My name is Soraya. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how I created this lovely painting with my palette knives. It had been a long time since I used them and I'm so glad I did. It turned out so beautifully. I've got commentary throughout, so keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to be working on a 16 inch by 16 inch uh, canvas. It's gallery wrapped and it's that's 40 by 40 centimeters. And today I'm going to be using my palette knives. And I haven't done them in a, used them uh, in a long time. And I love working with them. You can see they're well used. So I'm going to do the painting and see where it leads me. I had an idea to start off as a landscape and um, started up with the sky with the various colors, a little bit of purple and light blue and a bluish gray, uh, just to give a lot of interest. If you're just starting out with palette knives, I find you do really have to have a light touch to it. It's very easy to over mix and get muddied colors, so watch out for that. I find also that you do need plenty of color and not in quantity of colors, but in the amount of paint that you're using to get um, a you know, nice coverage on the canvas. I do like adding a dark color first and then highlighting on top of that. I think it works better that way. I was trying not to get too serious with this um, new painting in, in my, with my palette knives. I just wanted to have some fun, so just kind of let it go and let it be really loose. And uh, I really enjoyed it, and I think that's why I enjoyed it so much. going to try this it's a really good idea to have various sizes of palette knives you can see here this is a really tiny one and it became so easy to create these kind of like trees way far off in the distance there you are my sunshine my only sunshine you make me happy skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. So please don't take my sunshine away. Is up close and I had a lot of fun doing this. It had been a long long time. It's just a cute little landscape but yeah lots of texture, colors blending. I think it was it looks pretty good. 
You'll have to let me know what you think. I enjoyed doing this very much. I'll show you the colors. And that's still wet and I'll show you when it's dry. I used a lot of colors. This is grayish blue, turquoise green, sky blue light, phthalo light red, vermilion, prism violet, oops, this one here is ultramarine blue, and a sap green, cadmium yellow, and a light olive green, and the white, titanium white. So I'll let this dry, probably take a couple of days I would think, it's kind of on there thick, and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, and here's the painting. It only took a day to, to dry. I was surprised with the uh, amount of uh, texture and thickness there was, but that's what it, it was, not very long. But I love the way it turned out. This was so much fun. I loved playing with the palette knives, the various uh, sizes, and um, this landscape turned out beautifully, I think. Click on the link you see now, you'll see a lot more of my paintings. I have a new Facebook group called Soraya Silvestri Artist Amazing Abstracts and Pores promote your art. The link is in the description area below.